I'd like to introduce Julie from England who has multiple sclerosis. Welcome, Julie. Hello, Linda. Could you tell me when you first started getting MS symptoms? Um, it was in about 2002. Mm-hmm. Um, I started um, feeling fatigue and having balance problems. Oh, and eyesight problems as well. And how old were you then? Um, I was about 37. Mm-hmm. And how long did it take to get diagnosed? About two years. And what was your symptoms like at that point? At that point, um, I uh, had severe fatigue and um, quite bad eyesight problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, they called it convergence weakness, and they, they tried to do lots of tests on me. Uh, well, gave me lots of um, uh, tests to do with my eyes, and uh, none of them worked. And uh, uh, but what happened was um, I I was suspicious because my sister has MS, and uh, I thought some of my symptoms are very similar to what she has. Mm-hmm. So um, I paid to see a specialist privately, and he saw me and he said, No, 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 you don't have MS, and uh, because your symptoms are too mild, because you can walk in a straight line and and uh, things like that and uh, all this business of touching your nose and Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all these tests they do on you. And, uh, you know, I was was walking reasonable distances at that point. The problem was that um, I would just get very, very tired, and it was fatigue, but I didn't know it was fatigue. And uh, I just kept saying, I feel tired all the time. And uh, he just said, oh, I think you've probably got ME. And uh, that was his diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Um, but I made a fuss and said, I think you should give me an MRI scan. And so he said, oh, all right then, just to set your mind at rest. So they did an MRI scan, and of course they found white areas um, showing plaques. And uh, he said, you could have knocked me down with a feather. <laughs> you know, I was so surprised that you do in fact have MS. So... And how did that affect you being diagnosed, or were you prepared for it? Well, I thought I was prepared, but when you're actually told, and I was told over the phone, can mm-hmm. you believe it? Mm-hmm. Because I nagged him, and I wanted the results straight away. Yeah. Um, I pestered him and pestered him, and in the end he told me over the phone. And uh, he didn't offer me an, in- an appointment or anything. He just told me, because I insisted on knowing. Yeah. And... Uh, and I thought I could handle it, but then when he told me, I just burst into tears. Mm-hmm. Really, just it was so upsetting because I knew, you know, what it could mean because I'd seen what had happened to my sister. Yes. And she was a lot worse than me. Mm. So. And how long did it take you to find LDN? Um, I heard about it um, for a few years before I decided to take the plunge, and it was only when I looked on on the website that has all the um, examples of people taking it and what effect it has had on them. Um, That's, and that I phoned you as well and uh, spoke to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all that information gathering that made me think, yes, this is worth a try now. I'd heard of it before, but I hadn't heard enough about it. Whereas the second time I thought, yes, this is worth looking into. You know, it seems like it's working for lots of people. So, and how easy was it for you to get a prescription? Um, basically, you gave me um, some names of people, and um, one of whom was Bob Lawrence. And uh, it was when I went down that route that uh, um, we had a long chat on the phone, and uh, um, we talked about lots of things, um, mainly because um, my background is in... Uh, chemistry, particularly uh, molecular modelling and drug design, and um, the area of my PhD was um, looking at um, uh, arachidonic acid cascade, the inhibitors of, and uh, so thinking about inflammation, things like that. So that's why Bob and I had a topic of conversation anyway, Mm -hmm. regardless of the fact that that we both had MS. this was like common ground and uh, that's how we got to know each other really 
And uh, so um, he agreed to prescribe LDN for me. And once he'd got um, confirmation from my consultant, who was happy to pass on a letter, to write a letter, and uh, and let Bob um, prescribe the LDN for me. Mm -hmm. Did you have any initial side effects? Um, I had um, sleep problems. And also constipation problems. Yeah. <laughs> it was a few days. Well, it was a bit longer than a few days. I was finding it like it was taking up to five days for my system to adjust. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, with um, with gentle laxatives and things like that, and lots of fruit, um, everything settled down. Mm -hmm. um, the um, sleep problems didn't go away until I switched to dosing in the morning rather than the evening. As soon as I switched to dosing in the morning, those went away completely. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what plus points have you found for taking LDN? What's it done for you? Um, it's got rid of my foot drop. Because um, I think I've told you before that um, I had already tried diet and exercise um, because I went on George Shillingnecks website and um, quite a lot of my symptoms were addressed by diet and exercise. But the two things that I still had were foot drop and fatigue. Mm -hmm. And LDN has uh, managed to sort those out. I wouldn't say 100% on the fatigue front, but pretty damn good. And good. the foot drop I've never had again. It, I, oh. it was about, um, let's think... Um, I started taking it in March, and then by the end of August, the foot drop had gone. And it was just incredible. And the actual going of it was weird, because it felt like um, um, my toe was a bit sore, my big toe. And I couldn't think why. And then I realized I was actually using a muscle that I hadn't used in years. And that's what was making it hurt a little bit. And mm. then that soon wore off. It was like I'd been doing aerobics with one toe. <laughs> it was really strange. It's the toe that, that dragged, you know, when I had foot drop. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow the body seemed to be recovering and lifting the, the toe up. And that's what I was feeling. And mm. then when, when the stiffness and the soreness went, the foot drop went as well. It was quite incredible. Mm. I was amazed. Yeah. That was totally, totally down to LDN. It was, um, as I in increased my dose, gradually, 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 I took it in baby steps. And uh, and then when I got to 4.5, that's when I noticed this effect on my toe. Mm -hmm. And I've never looked back. So how would never you compare your life now to before LDN? It's just fantastic. We have just got a new puppy. And I am just thrilled, and I am so looking forward to walking with her every single day. And I would never have been able to do that before. So it has changed my life completely. Well, that is really good news. Yes. Um, what would you say to other people who are... Cont Sorry, hang on one second. Where's my phone? Just a second. Hello? Hello, fine, thank you. Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, I can't remember what it was now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everything was fine. We've been and had a haircut. And, yeah. Yeah. And the man was very pleased and he took pictures. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, really, really pleased. Yeah. Leo wants to speak to you, so I'll let him speak to you and say goodbye and put the phone down and I'll speak to you later. All right then. Yeah, bye. Right, sorry about that. That's okay. Right, okay. So what would you say to other people who are considering trying LDN? I would strongly, strongly recommend that they try it. Because it's, it's got no, you know, once the initial side effects wear off, um, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. And we know it's very, very safe. So uh, I would strongly recommend it. Why well, not give it a go? 
sorry, I spoke at the same time as you. Could you just say, why not give it a go again without me right. speaking over you? Okay. Why not give it a go? Well, thank you very much for sharing your story with us, Julie. I really do appreciate it. And good luck with the puppy. Thank you.